Smacking, cracking, and watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. The Gifted, season one, episode six. This episode is called Got Your Six. Let's get to it. They are in a war, and all they have is here and now. There's so many relationships popping off in this show that it's crazy. Marcos and Polaris, Dreamer and John, Marcos and Cameron, look, or Marcos and Carmen. Cartel love? Mmm, scary. Yikes. Lauren and, Re Lauren and Wes, puppy love. You know what? The more I watch the show, the more we get drawn into certain characters like Dreamer. And I'm saying to myself, okay, redheads. Redheads get, don't get a lot of love for some reason, but they exist. And I felt like in mid-episode, I said, whoa, there are so many redhead superheroes out there. I had really had to sit down and think about it. Poison Ivy, marriage. And I, when I say this, I'm speaking on women superheroes. I am speaking about the women superheroes out there. Mary Jane Watson, Poison Ivy. Um, Jean Grey, obviously our homegirl dreamer. Mystique. All of these lovely people exist, and I just wanted to give them a shout out. Shout out, Red. Let's, let's just talk about eyes. Shatter and Blink, the costumes, the designs, who's ever in charge of like hair and makeup and all that aesthetic things on this show, they're doing an outstanding job because, my goodness, just the eye work alone. Thumbs up. I love the random X-Men subliminals. I'm talking about the vault with the X. The back of Jace's laptop had um, like the vents on the back. It was like silver and red, but it was an X and it had a little line through it. And when I talked about the vault, I'm talking about the vault in the underground layer. Let me know what you think. How do you like it? Are there more little X-Men subliminals they're throwing that I didn't catch? Let me know, drop a comment below. Let's talk about these characters right quick, man. Thunderbird, I really like his backstory on who he is, man. Okay, he's been treated unfairly. I get it, most of the mutants have been. They're by this crazy group of radical mutant haters and anti-mutant folks who are willing to just attack them. They've been in this war slowly for years. His background, he was a Marine, I believe. He was in the service. He had his Marine t-shirt on, looking nice and at the cost. Just a man trying to serve as a Marine, raise awareness, trying to keep the peace, but people are always anti-mutants. Anger. Um, anger's there. You know, he crushed his clipboard. He, he, punched, um, he punched the vault later. He was lifting up those big reinforced blocks like it was nothing. So it's there, and I feel like one day he's going to go all Andy and just uh, not control it and have an outburst. That would be off the chain. And he's always second-guessing things. It's like whatever he does, he feels he never does enough. And they're really showing the emotions on him versus Marcos. Marcos doesn't have those layers. He doesn't have that emotional connection of the protector like Thunderbird, Lauren. You know, Lauren has perfect hair in this whole season, and I was here for it, especially in episode six, man. Gotcha six. She, <laughs> hair, was on, hair was popping. She was definitely on her Pantene uh, herbal essence. She was going for the L'Oreal, please can I get a sponsorship type deal. Um, serving the food, insert new character, Wes. And he looks like a pre one day I'm gonna be Thunderbird type of vibe. He's got the baby muscles, not quite where it needs to be. But you know, they're introducing this whole puppy love factor of she needs to feel some sort of normalcy with being a teen, and that would be it. Now, not only is she finding someone she has a connection with, it's someone who, it's not just the vibe, it's hey, we both have a gift. It's pretty cool where they're going with it. I, I like where they're going with it. Creative Florence for her. Anybody create forms for you today? I didn't think so. Jace, man, Jace is driven by anger. Like I said, a lot of it had to do with anger. So is Andy. Thunderbird has his issues with trying to control it. Jace is a madman now. So Polaris, Polaris, I love her. Why? Off the chain makeup, off the chain hair, off the chain makeup, eyebrows on fleek. She's on her Professor X. She's on her Professor Xavier tip right now, man. She is leading with a vision and motivating these young ones. And she's looking around like, hey, there's too much talent gifts in here. And they don't even know how to use it. All these backgrounds. Let me mold them. Let me show them how to control it. So young herself, but her vision is off the track. Back to the story. Let's get to it. Marcos and the Strucker Man in the semi-trailer. What? We're in the trailer? Come on now. Working hard or hardly working it on family, trying to put the connection back together. They did that thing. Teamwork makes the dream work. They get the files, they get the drives. Poor Reed though, did you see him glance up and look at that picture of him like, what happened to me? I was just 
just a regular guy going to work every day with my fam and now look at me I'm stealing my own stuff that's how it is man when the sentinels after you gotta do what you gotta do Andy had the worst run on TV history did you see his flare his did you see his his weird run back like I want to be part of it but I can't he just flare flail legs Boy, if you don't go take your little preteen emotional self and go back to the truck and wait like you were told, dang, Andy can really take you off, man. But when he steps up, you're like, yeah. But when he does stupid stuff, you're just like. Look, when I saw that ambush about to happen and they were going to intercept the squad, I was like, Clarice, you coming back? Blink, where you at, man? We need you. Polaris was out there with her young ones and motivating like I said like Professor X and Lauren hit him with the bubble bah, bah, and the bubble ramp and it went up like a dang on like a hot wheel track it went up like a hot wheel track and Wes stepped in on his part because teamwork makes the dream work he made an illusion see see what happens when you work together working together trying to make it yeah 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 Anyway, it was a very good episode. I enjoyed it. Let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment below. And like I always say, I strongly, strongly feel Jace's daughter is alive. That's how I'm going to do it. That's how I feel. And who knows what files they're going to locate when they get to reading that stat. They might say, hey, hey, this is his daughter. That's how I feel. I'm sticking to it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Until further notice. Once again, like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. I don't know. Does the gifted have a dang on Facebook account? If so, put this video on there. I don't really care. Peace out.